Hi guys, James here, Head of Performance at Demon Tweaks. Uh, it's the 31st of October, Halloween, and we've come to Telford to Ultimate Stance 2021. Uh, brought our very own scene queen along, is Josh. Thank you very much. And we're going to have a look around the place, have a look at the stuff that's inside, that's outside, see what kind of flavours we get, and uh, just have a good day looking at some fantastic metalwork. So, what we're here to see is everything and anything that you've never thought of before. That's what we do. This is what this scene is. This is my scene. This is what I've been doing for a long time now. I've met some amazing people by doing this over the years. There's everything in between here. I mean, you'll see everything. You'll see a Derv Supra with a Cummins in. I mean, that is... Sick. Hit and miss. <laughs> you know what sick. I mean? It's, 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 it's Marmite we're dividing, but I personally think it's a wicked build, but there's a lot of stuff here that you'll see that you'll like. So let's take a look around. So I'm here today at Ultimate Stance with a good friend of mine, Grant. He's part of another car culture that we like to go on, an adaptation of motorsport and different styles of riding. This stance is sort of based on low looks, everything to do with sort of everything that's fancy and everything that's a little different. We do little different things everywhere. Now Grant's just going to show us around his car a little bit, show us what he does, show us what he's got and show us what he likes. So I've got a Mark 1 TT, I brought it three years ago, always wanted one, so slowly built it, um, started with coin losers, everyone does, wheels, and then eventually put it on uh, left performance. Thought it would be a bit different, go with some motor form CVTs and yeah, build starts from there. Got some seats here talking with Demon Tweaks as well about, so. So Grant's in a category of a couple of different builds. You've got a static build, you've got a bag build, and you've got maybe a cut spring build, but we don't recommend those sort of things. Grant has a suspension setup where basically instead of a shock and spring or a coilover adjustment where you can adjust the collars on the bottom on a threaded platform, you instead have an air tank, a compressor, and bags on each corner, so it's a strut with a, a, an airbag on instead. So instead he can control the pressure of each corner and he can move his ride up and down to whatever height he wants to do. Grant also has rotor form wheels that we do as well. A lovely set, nicely finished, uh, nice Scorpion and a nice interior. We stole a moment with Zach here at Ultimate Stance um, just to have a quick chat to you about your R Barth, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the car? 2017 Abarth 595. Um, wasn't planning to do anything to it really apart from mod it. Right, okay. I've got uh, engine work, like 200 horsepower, but yeah, yeah, then yeah. I wanted to come to these shows and then I got a bit showy. So I've got the rotary forms on there and the nice. air and self leveling 3D printed caps. So yeah. I've done it all myself, it's a bit of a project, but it's so on a daily as well. It was stock when you bought it? Stock when I bought it. Okay, and, and since then you put coilovers on it first? I had coilovers first and then I did the diffuser from S Forza. Okay, Full exhaust. nice little rain light on there as well. Rain light, full exhaust from Ragazon in Italy. Yeah. Side skirts and the splitter on the front. Yeah. And then, you know, little things like tinted lights and now they've gone all the sides like the splitters, the wheels, the camber, engine work, uh, Bevo tuned it and all that, so yeah. And with regard to the install, how much of that did you do? Most of it myself. Uh, auto styling Cornwall, where I'm from, uh, helped you me. Came, hang on, you came up from Cornwall? I came from Cornwall, so Fair seven, dude. eight hours, long Beautiful. journey. But, Beautiful. Um, they helped me fit uh, the actual struts, because I'd never done it, and they kind of showed me how to do it, but yep. I did it with them. They painted the tank, and then all the boot build myself, fitting the electrics, all did myself. Cause it's, so you brought your car in, obviously you've been um, you've been showing your car off and people have been looking at your car and getting inspiration from you and where they see themselves going. What about yourself? Have you managed to walk around? Have you had, had a look at anything? Maybe eyed up something that you want to try or maybe a different car? There's a lot of other cars and I do want another car, but then equally, every time I bring this, I'm like, I'll drive it. I'm like, it's so different. Yeah. Lot, yeah. Some people have them, but they never really go to this extreme. Like it's like, yeah. what do I buy next? It's, I kind of like this so much, it's just like maybe make this a bit more crazier. Fair play. Dude, it. look, it's a great car, great to meet you and look forward to seeing what you do with it next. Yeah, hopefully I do something cool with it. Enjoy the rest of the show. You too. Take Cheers. it easy. Thank Cheers, you. bud. Cheers. So we're here with Emily and we're just going to have a quick chat to her about her thoughts on the show and her car. So Emily, nice to see you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice Good to see you, see you too. <laughs> um, 
the car. It's back together. It's back together. It took two weeks. Well, two weeks ago yesterday, it got dropped off to me, and we've transformed it from something that looked like it was ready for a scrapyard to in the looking like it's fit for an indoor show kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? It looks so, cool. It looks really, really good. And you wrapped everything yourself? Yeah, yeah. So this was all wrapped by myself um, through my own wrapping company, Shieldworks. Um, and it's wrapped in 3M Atomic Teal, which is a beautiful colour. It looks really well, fair dues to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, is this your first time exhibiting a car? It is, yeah. I feel like this is solidified today. But this is just the start with this thing. I'm looking at this arch gap down here and I'm thinking, do we bag it? That's the next question. Um, but all these shiny wheels and air rides, it's ticking a few boxes for me, definitely. <laughs> so thanks so much for, for taking a couple of minutes to talk Thank to you. us. We look forward to seeing what you do with the car yeah. in the future. Good to talk to you. Nice to meet you. you too. Thank you. Have a good show. <laughs>had a wander around the show we've looked at quite a lot of cars um, and something that we wanted to do is, um, is just call something out in particular but I've got um, a little something to show you oh that's sick that's sick wow that's awesome I need so, to do my wheels gold now yeah you will won't you that's all so for, for us um, the stunning car the fact that you've built it yourself yeah. it's, it's not a run of the mill and it's just nice to see that you put all that hard work in yourself. Um, we look forward to seeing what you can do with it in the future. Um, just a little bit of recognition from us on what we think is a, a great car thank here at the show. Much. Well That's done, it. mate. Yeah, cheers, well thank done. you for that. No worries. That's eight. So guys, we've um, had our day at Ultimate Stance. We've seen some fantastic machinery. We've seen all sorts of different powered cars, low cars, smooth cars, rare cars, old school, the very latest. All kinds of different technology, shapes, sizes. Wonderful to be here. The scene is awesome. The crowds are fantastic. And we've had a great time. Can't wait for 2022. Look forward to seeing you then. Take care, guys.